Hey man with J-Man here at Juan Pollo's in San Bernardino, checking out the Route 66 Museum. There's nobody in here but me. I just came from their uh, actual first McDonald's. Juan Pollo owns the building and the museum. Let's take a look around. I'm into signs, so I like signs. There's a sweet porcelain Meadowbrook Dairy of San Bernardino sign with a nice glare. There it is. And their headquarters for Juan Pollo is over there at the San Bernardino McDonald's Museum World Headquarters, which they just said they're going to be moving. They should just keep it the way it is. Old school old school is the way it should be man nothing modern when it comes to this type of stuff I didn't get a shot from the outside yet because it almost didn't look like this place was open. You'll see what I mean when I get out there. There's a real old one polio sign out there. That's what he owns too, Roy's, out in uh, Amboy, California. About the whole town. I don't know if those are real or not. I never heard of Route 66 motor oil. The clock is pretty red. The time shop. Can't get a good chair, it is. chicken. Damn! Old Pepsi uh, slider machine. Up went another city off the freeway but miles down the road. Those two dudes out there called me. They thought I was somebody famous, but <laughs> I'm not. Looks like where you go down Route 66, and this is the stencil that painted on Route 66. Man, look at this. I need to find the wigwams, because the wigwams are out here. Somewhere close by here. Actually, here's what they own right here. Roy's Motel and Cafe in Amboy, California. We are in San Bernardino. They have the National Orange Show, which is the, uh, what do we got? It's like the fair out here. Bar 
first, though. Got over here, Speedy Gonzalez. I was hoping to see a lot more signs in here, but I was told at the other location that there's a guy that has them on loan until somebody wants to purchase them. And Route 66 signs are not cheap. So I'm going to guess the guy took them and sold them. I remember a bunch at the McDonald's location when you've seen some old videos that people have done. Oh, here's, I like these too. California license plates. 1915, 1914. These are probably 1916 to 1920, I would assume. Porcelain. Then you got some 20s metal ones back there. Tasmanian Devil. Check him out. Route 66. Somebody was out there eating their food. And they said that this is the second location of the Juan Poyo. And let me get the shot outside because the sign is pretty vintage. Nineteen ninety-three. What in the world is that? Murals on the table. Second here, not not for sure. This is the second one polio ever on historic Route 66. And let's take a look at the outside of the property in a sec. Got some people moving around by me, so let me uh, get it in a sec. Check out that right across the street, the Santa Fe Railroad smokestack incinerator I'm not sure what that is over there across the street from Juan Poyo San Bernardino Route 66 Museum here and it's not here at the McDonald's Museum it's at the Juan Poyo Museum Route 66 
it's, it's a mile here. This has to be right around here somewhere. The Wigwam Motel. So I'm going to go try to find that. Santa Fe Railroad, which is that smokestack thing right there. It says Santa Fe on it. Hey man with J man here in San Bernardino, California. If you liked this video, hit the thumbs up. You can also hit the subscribe button, it's free. Check out all my other videos. Hey man with J man.